Hello, welcome to our channel and today we are going to discuss about banking of road and we will derive an expression for the banking angle. Uh, this topic is from rotational and circular motion. Before continuing to the topic, kindly click on the like and subscribe button. Now, when a car is taking a turn in a circular road or a curve can also be considered as a circular path. So when a car is traveling and taking a short turn, then the tires of the car provides the centripetal force, which make the car to take turn in the circular path. But sometimes in some areas, for example, where the areas where there is more snowfall or in mountains, the turns are very short and the the frictional force is not enough to make the car take a turn in a circular path. That's why we need banking angle and banking up road. And this inclined road here you see is known as banking up road. And this theta here is a banking angle. So we are going to derive an expression for banking angle which will relate the velocity with the uh, angle. Now, for example, we have a car and that car is coming in this way. And this is an inclined bank road. And the weight of the car is denoted by mg and that weight of the car is acting downward, which is represented by this arrow. And weight is equal to mg or the force F is equal to mg. Now a reaction force is acting which is perpendicular to the road that is known as normal force which balance uh, the weight of the car and that is denoted by Fn. So this is the horizontal axis and this is the vertical axis the weight mg is acting downward in the on the vertical axis now we are going to resolve this normal force into its components form if we can draw this triangle uh, in this way here you will see that this fn have two components one is the vertical component that is denoted by fn sine theta and the second component is the horizontal component which is denoted by Fn cos theta. Now here the term uh, which is Fn cos theta which is along this vertical axis provides uh, a balancing force to the weight of the vehicle. And we can say this Fn cos theta and we can relate this Fn cos theta from this free body diagram is equal to mg weight of the vehicle. So we have expression Fn cos theta is equal to mg. Now this uh, horizontal component which is Fn sine theta here this component is in vertical direction. We have inverted this triangle but here you can see this is the uh, horizontal component and this component is denoted by Fn sine theta and this Fn sine theta is responsible for the centripetal force which provides the centripetal force to make the car take turn and does not rely only on fractional force. So we can say Fn sine theta is equal to mv square in case we ignore the fractional forces. Now we have these two equation. One is Fn cos theta is equal to mg and the second component of the normal force is Fn sine theta which is equal to mv square divided by r and this term here mv square divided by r is actually centripetal force. Now if we divide this equation number 2 by equation number 1 we will have Fn sine theta divided by Fn cos theta is equal to mv square divided by r this term then divide by mg. 
Now, if we convert this divide sign into multiply, we will have mv squared divided by r multiplied by 1 over mg. And this m and this m will cancel out with one another. And here this fn, normal force, and this fn will cancel out. We will have sine theta divided by cos theta is equal to v squared divided by r multiplied by g. And we know that sine theta divided by cos theta is equal to tangent theta. So we have tangent theta is equal to v squared divided by rg. Now if we take tan inverse on both the sides of this equation, we will have uh, this tan this tan will cancel out with this tan inverse and we will have theta is equal to tangent inverse v square divided by rg. And this is the equation which indicate the relationship between the velocity and the banking angle. If we want to design a banking row of road, then if we uh, want the velocity to be 60 km per hour, we can substitute the value for velocity. We will need the value of the radius and we know the gravitational which is 9.8 meter per second square. Substituting this value, we will get a value for theta or for the required banking angle. So this equation is for that case where we completely ignore the fractional forces. That's it. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to you for more videos.